He's probably already gone, isn't he? Chandler? Welcome back. It's been grim here. We and the Survey Corp hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Sunlin's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. <laughs> oh, my dear Chandler. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Chandler. <laughs> uh, of course I was worried, but I, I don't uh, think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed Akari. That's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make uh, things up just to hide their embarrassment. But uh, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. Uh, we're to join her in the Survey Corp office. It seems her hands are more full that now that uh, Commander Kamado has gone. He's not here. Well, he's set out for Mount Coronet with the Survey Corp in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was uh, filling in for regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. No, we should we should go. We need to go. We need to stop Kamado from like fucking things up. Um. Abra, please, you're right in front of me. You don't have to be at 2 FPS. We're, we're in formalities right now. We're inside. You, you could, you could like, take a load off. So you managed not to die. <clears throat> so you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. I owe it to Adamant. No doubt uh, your own past deeds earned you, would, uh, earned you any help uh, you may have received. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use? I got this red chain. Go on. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife. The Security Corp uh, has been scouting the area near the space-time rift. And they reported sightings of a Pokemon on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the cer uh, security corp to the mountains, as so to prepare to fend off any possible threat. Uh, they were to make for the temple at the peak. Ah, uh, you shouldn't go there. No, that's a bad idea. However, uh, however strong the commander himself may be, uh, we should have gotten Chandler to help. As the captain of the, the Survey Corp, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Chandler, take that red chain to Mount Coronet and make your way to the peak. I put an end to all this. You are officially restrained at your former rank. Or reinstated, whatever that word said. <coughs> are you cer uh, certain you can do that with the command uh, commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the, sur uh, the Survey Corp. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. Lucario. <laughs> Groof. Something the matter, Lucario? Oh, that's funny. That's nice. Rye. That that's a good one. I like that joke. It's uh it's Riley. It's the it's the, the freaking ancestor of Riley. And he still has a Lucario. And you are? Okay, you're Chandler, nice to meet you. Groof. What is it, Lucario? Gru. It seems Lucario sens uh, sensed your uh, your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? I think we gotta go save the world. <laughs> 
You're just gonna you're just gonna do this? No, I think I think we'll save that one for later. Hey, you wanna sell me something? Hey, you wanna give me a haircut? In the moon for a style change? Yep, the world's ending, but I could use a haircut right now. Hey, you are Chandler. Irid is already headed to Mount Cornet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Cornet. He's already uh, he's already started uh, started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than uh, that dignified manner of his lets on. Uh, not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. We're wasting time by talking right now. I sh we should probably go. Also, thank you, uh, Narendra, for following. You did the thing, and I very much appreciate you. Let me go first, Chandler. If you were uh, if you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. <laughs> hmm. Who is the reckless one? Hey, you got the uh, you got a uh, run out of the village, right? But you're still, but you still tried to find a way to help us all. That's right. Chandler worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Uh, too right, and a fine job he did too. The survey corp is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village as well as the sake of uh, sake of our relations with Pokemon. Take this. Thanks for the max revive. Your orders are the uh, your orders are three. One, make for the summit. I uh, make for the summit camp, and from there, uh, the temple of Sinnoh. Am I late? Uh, depends. Two, use the red chain to solve this mess. And three, return here alive. <laughs> your E key sucks. <laughs> Oh, we finally have a camp set up here? Thank God. This is so convenient. There was not a camp set up here before. I've heard the I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here's some max potions for me to celebrate. Looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt you'll be fine after all. Uh, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adam and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Chandler, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kabuto intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. <laughs> Alright, can I... Melly, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Things cer uh, certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here, for moral support at least. Okay, uh, I don't think we need to heal, I don't think we need to rest. Uh, I think we are good everywhere right now. We're going to save the game. I am back and I am here. And it's, uh, Pokemon time. Upsy daisy There's more elegant up here. Hold up. Uh... You. Okay, never mind then. Never mind then. You want to be like that? That's very rude of you to do that. I just want the elegant. <laughs> Uh, just crunch it. Alright, good. I got the yellow kid. It's corpse. Is the Electivire still up here? Yes. Oh. 
Alright, guess we're not getting the Electivire either. Uh, hold on, there is important tumble stones to have. Uh, and I guess... Because the game wanted to be stupid... Stone portal. Oh shit, the true final boss, Benny, <laughs> and his evil potato, potato mochi Pokemon. It is really, really dark in here on the recording right now. It is, it's, I can see just fine in here, but like the recording, it just looks <laughs> so dark. Oh, so you're still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to uh, shudder the wallflower. I'd much, uh, I'd much rather be here now serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that Taskmaster Commodo has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to, uh, to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make, um, I'll make myself, uh, plain as Commodo's right hand. I'm charged with ex- uh, Executing all the gritty deeds, Kamado uh, can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word, and I'll, I'll get rid of uh, m any fools that might dream of getting in the way. Besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. <laughs> uh, you've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, I'll show you how you're meant to use them. He's a fucking ninja this whole time? <laughs> when I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last. At last. He he's just a fucking Kakashi? Kakashi's here. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that might have uh, left uh, to molder all these long years. Galaxy team member Benny challenge you to a battle. Holy shit, dude. Chill. Oh, you're leading with Shadow Ball. Ow. Yeah, but they're like on par with my levels. You have your own Sneasler. That's fine, Plant's gonna go down. I don't know why I have a lot of Naruto on the mind lately. Because I don't know anything about Naruto. <laughs> but uh, when I was, go I was going through stuff, and I found uh, all the old cases to a bunch of Wii games uh, that I had put in like these circular cases, I, uh, still own, uh, my copies of, uh, Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution 1, 2, and 3 on Wii. And they're actually really good games, because they were my brothers, and I played them with him when I was growing up. And they're really fucking good games, and I would not mind streaming them at some point. Um, so... I guess that's why Naruto's on the mind. But that's really fucking funny. That, uh, Benny's a ninja. Ah, Psychic missed. Oh, but then he used Psychic again, and it didn't miss. Um... 
All right, well, you had my only super effective mood for this. Um, we could probably go for Kevin. Trying to get like a better angle for you guys. There's not really a better angle to go for. Oh, the the, uh, the stealth rocks might kill. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> An actual trainer using a potion? Really? Alright, fine. Uh, Agile Air Slash. It's Stone Axe, but it leaves Stealth Rocks. That's the effect of Stone Axe. And a Gallade. In this game, it is. Uh, uh, stealth Rocks does damage in this game, and then we'll do residual damage over time. Alright, well, see you later, Gallade. You're fighting type. Never mind, it didn't kill. It, it's, it's Stealth Rocks. Uh, alright, well, Dweller can come in. Uh, and then we can also Aerial Ace on Dweller. Seems my ninja techniques will soon be uh, consigned to history. He does look very familiar to another person in the Pokemon franchise. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I'd actually like you, after a fashion. At least for your skill, you show in battle. But listen well, Chandler. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Guess what I was thinking? It looks like Wally. <gasps> Manaphy! There's a Manaphy on the wall. Komodo and I uh, saw our hometown burned to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But he has a Gallade on his team too, and Wally has a Mega Gallade. So, and he has a Gardevoir in the other game, so. Uh, but to achieve something truly great, you must, uh, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. But he's, al he's also white and green, and Wally's white and green, come on. If hypothetically, uh, uh, if, I, if hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force, if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach could handle. Yeah. Is my team healed? Oh, my team's healed. I was gonna go back and heal, but my team healed. Sneasler, I don't want that. I'm trying to pick up the thing. Uh, there's Lilligant, Dialga, Darkrai, Avalug, Weirdeer, Basculegion, Arceus, Cleavor, Regigigas, Azelf, Manaphy, and I cannot tell what that is. Dialga, perhaps? Probably Dialga. Right, let's get some iron chunks and get out of here. Alright, Spear Pillar. Cool. <laughs> oh. The, bro, the, how do you not know? How do you not know that Almighty said it was Arceus? Spear Pillar literally has Arceus's head things on the side and the things he has like right there 
And, like, you, if you've seen this area and you see my ARC phone, how do you not know that All Money Sinu is not this? Diamond and Pearl Clan are stupid. Uh, what can I do here? No fucking shot. Does that texture extend above and out? No fucking shot. I think we're good on stuff. Uh, we have plenty of hyper potions. Probably want more revives, but I'm good. I'll get, like, two more full restores. You brought the red chain? Chandler, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon's apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh, but Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Well, Kamado was evil all along. I like these statues, though. Okay, well, hello, Zisu. Zisu's here. Oh, shit, dude. He's fucking suited up. He, he looks like Wilkstrom. Or Wickstrom. However you pronounce his name. I heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that would bind the world. That uh, I assume to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but I can truly... Uh, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. I literally have met the Lake Guardians. What do you think, uh, even the Red Chain is some, uh, what, do you think the Red- Oh, that's not him. That's Adamant talking. What, do you think even the Red Chain is some trick on Chandler's part? He worked, uh, he worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know, I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If somehow, if he somehow, uh, concocted all of that on his own, then what hope do we even have? Perhaps you were right, but if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us! Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility! Fine. Enough! Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Chandler. Today, we battle in earnest. And he also has four mons. Galaxy Team Kamado challenge you to battle. Why does he not have a special theme? I wish he had a special theme, but he doesn't. Alright, well, thankfully, we're leading with Clamp. So, uh... Strong Thunder Fang here. This should just hopefully one shot Braviary. Good. We have a Snorlax. Oh, and high horsepower. Convenient. And it was a crit. Awesome. Okay, well, Dweller. Uh, Mula or is here. I don't think Snorlax is especially bulky, just physically bulky. Oh, so close. Oh. Cool Zen headbutt.
Actually, is this a special theme? It's going into a different theme now. Nope, never mind. Unless it's a more it's unless it's a different version of the theme, I can't really tell. Alright, then we poison jab this thing. It's a special tank. Well, too bad. I know it, it's a remix of the gym leader theme. That's been in a lot of but it, it's been in a lot of fights. So I didn't know if uh, Kamado's theme was like a different version of that theme or not, but... Where's that double edge? Alright, well, I have Mud Bomb, so we should just do a strong Mud Bomb. I was really hoping, like, if we're fighting Kamado at the very top of the Spear Pillar, at the very end of the game, I was hoping he would have some sort of, like, special theme, but, uh, doesn't. So... Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. That's a very extreme measure. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Chandler, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask uh, ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours to sake the galaxy team, the galaxy expedition, for the sake of the galaxy expedition. No, the sake of the Celestia people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Sorry to worry you, Commander. We've got the red chain. Okay, whole team's healed. Whole team's healed. Another save for real this time. We will lead with Dweller, our starter, through all of this. Temple of Sinnoh. The commander's uh, headed to the temple, but I fear the situation already is beyond our control. Yeah, he's he's right there, but okay. How come Volo is the only one who stays in frame? Does everyone else not stay in frame? Okay, no, they're just gone. They're all just gone. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Hold on. I thought so. There was no way there wasn't. Old verse 11. Let our wishes reach heaven's crown, the people together vowed. So they and their Pokemon bore stone to the peak of heaven's mount. The people carved the gathered stones in shapes of Pokemon. The ten Pokemon that Sinnoh shone uh, its almighty light upon. So we have Cleavor and Weirdear, Ursaluna and Lilligant, Basculegion and Arcanine, uh, Electrode and Sneasler. Which honestly, this Electrode statue is, looks better than Electrode itself. Oh, they're up here, that's why. Uh, Breviary and Avalug. Honestly, this looks really cool. And then Arceus. <laughs> you can do this, Chandler. I believe in you. I wonder just what is happening on the other side of the space-time rift. No, that was the fit. That was the 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 Alabaster Ice Lanes boss. Did you see that triple? Have you seen Avalog? Because Avalog was actually fucking cool. Like, nope, that's the wrong button. Like, I want to show this just in case you haven't seen it, because, like, Avalog's fucking huge. Like, there was this whole massive boss fight. 
Uh, it's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking. Inside my head. Gallyrex? You hold the red- uh, you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me. You hold the red chain, try to catch me then, human, for uh, the fight to come. Take these. Thanks. <laughs> you already know whatever's happening here, I'm catching it in a Pokeball. So. Oh! Oh, straight up the Alga, huh? Can't be good. Oh, because I picked Adam and Dialga shows up. That makes sense. Okay. We're off time. Ah! We're fine. Okay. So I'm gonna use Aura Sphere. I'm gonna use Agile Aura Sphere. Okay, yeah, Aurasphere would have killed. <laughs> Aurasphere would have instantly killed. Okay. Um, then Leaf Blade. I love this remix of the, the legendary theme. Um, Plamp can come out. I'm gonna try and go for a Thunder Fang and hope for the Paralysis. Okay. And then Pokeball, go! Oh. But you're paralyzed, you're bad. So for anyone who didn't catch me catching Manaphy and Fion, what I've been doing <laughs> since what I've been doing since um uh what was it uh Oraz, I've been catching all legendaries and Pokeballs all the time. Took two balls. Somehow Diago was a lot easier to catch than Manaphy was. He caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Chandler, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole thing as you battled and caught your uh, your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Uh, looks like I taught him well. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's called the Alga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. Space-time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. There's no way uh, even Chandler could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. I'm not looking at chat.
Okay, that's Palkia, though. It's a Palkia. Oh, but you're doing the funny thing! No, don't do that! Don't do that! That's rude. All of you, we must vacate this. Ah, oh, forget that fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make it back to Summit Camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sido decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be you won't be any use if any you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay up on your feet before it, Chandler. Uh, uh you dunce. I like y'all are stupid. I still have that picture on my phone somewhere from when Sun and Moon first leaked. I don't exactly know where it fully is, but it is somewhere on my phone. I'm going to take a quick search. Because this is 2017, Sun and Moon was 2016. Okay, here we go. Actually, I think I took it myself. Yeah, I took this myself. Uh, November 24th, 2016. If it'll even focus. It won't, because my phone is too bright. What if I lower the brightness? No, you can't see it, but it's Guzma's. Y'all are stupid. Um, yeah, I took that image myself. I also took this picture. Uh, and, uh, yeah, good. Uh, did you, uh, notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was, the, uh, what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe they're really too almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans were really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. Both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Chandler. And to you, Chandler, I acted on ill cons uh, I acted on ill-considering presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite that all, you still drove to save all of Isui. Because I am a gamer. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, uh, and we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, uh, my- Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things uh, in quite a state at the temple. Uh, that's the- that's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd, uh, rather face what's in front of us than dwell in the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. Let us, uh, yes, let us move on. There is no need to speak on any further of my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. I see that having Chandler about has, uh, been a good influence on all. Yeah, uh, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance in getting through this disaster without you. Uh, we're still not through it, uh, we're still not, uh, through it. Uh, how is he to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I got a plan. Thanks to what Mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah. And along with its name, it told me what we needed. The Stone of Creation's Being. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading... Okay, uh, parading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants us, uh, wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at, uh, at least, the pieces of it anyway, I did collect them. I 
and the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about the Stone of Creation's being part? Lean might have some idea. Uh, he's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. Uh, he even goes digging for some ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine res uh, resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavenden? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Chandler, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said he had, mes had messages engraved on them. True. Aha, just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth Plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became less plate. I think this might be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Do you see? We must search for a stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same uh, material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating at Volo's in uh, urging. Now that you mention it, that Bolo fellow did come around the Diamond Clan settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided. <clears throat> it's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's being. Although the name uh, is rather a mouthful. Uh, wouldn't, you ju wouldn't you say? Perhaps we should call it Origin Ore. The counterpart. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Leon to, the, uh, to summit camp at once. How? You don't have a phone. Wait as long as, uh, as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. <laughs> so I decided to honor you all with my unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Fuck you. <laughs> now, Adamin, I uh, see all these other louts uh, have their tasks to be uh, get going with. But what, uh, but what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamin, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping uh, the Pokemon of our clans from panicking. Take the hint. Oh, Adamin, oh, 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 you silly foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to, and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems that you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your uh, uh, adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging a lit the little people. And you're also a little compared to me. Three candy truffles. Wow! Did you get Ursa Luna to get that for you? I could literally go right over there and get some more. I brought Lee in. Heesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Hisui's ores and stones are, are her precious resource. Since I, uh was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with that, perhaps you would take it up with Cleavor in battle? With that bumbling ball of yours? <laughs> Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both of you and that ugly bug of yours. All the way, uh, all the way back up to your, stup uh, your stupidly oversized tree. I think you have a stupidly oversized tree as well, but that's fine. Shall we prove it uh, to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the pro clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman! Everyone back home is all worked up But the fact you spoke with Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Dialgo or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud! Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly! Then let us uh, set out at once. We make for the... Uh, Prime Prime Grotto. <laughs> okay, uh, go over there. I don't need to do that because it's already marked. So, 
Wait, that's so stupid now. Then there's two flying spots. Moon Mew Arena and Summit Camp. Okay. Oh, are my, is my team healed? Team's healed. Okay. You have a side quest. Now's not the time. Spiel! Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my spiel. Its adorable round body caused it to go rolling down the hill, and it's headed straight for the Stone Tooth Rose and Bouldering Ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. Uh, you're that new Survey Corp member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear spiel. Now is not the time! It's right straight toward the orphanage. <laughs> No! Uh, rolled toward Boulder and Ravine. God damn it! Uh, fucking down here. I'm flying over him. Uh. Oh, it's just down, it's literally just down here. You say it would be toward the ravine, which this isn't toward the ravine, it's at the top of the ravine. Sweet. Oh, never mind. There it goes. Bruh. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing? It's a fucking golem. Sven. This is so not fitting for the current situation we're in right now. Where did you go? You're over here. Sve. Oh my goodness, feel I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. You escorted this fuel all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please meet me back at Summit Camp. Sve. I'm not targeted, right? Thank God. Thanks to you, I was able to find Sfeel, and without it, Scratch too. Here's everything you... Yeah, good. It's five sticky globs and a rare candy. Try to be careful now, won't you, Sfeel? Where'd Sfeel go? Sfeel! Alright, well, before I forget, let's do this real quick. Uh, we have Dialga now. Uh, I don't really know who I'd want to get rid of for Dialga. Um, maybe Kevin? I'm thinking maybe Kevin. For now. The plot wants me to use Dialga. Alright, Kevin. You're going here for safekeeping. You are large. Oh wait, I have an idea. If 
fucking slipping and sliding all over the place. Thanks for the pe peepus plant. I'm being targeted and the game's being rude. Stop it. I want to compare Dialga to the statue. Which, honestly, I think they're the exact same height. Hey, look, Dialga. It's you! Okay, well. Well, if Dialga is gonna be here... Uh, also, you have Earth Power, Iron Tail, Flash Cannon, and Roar of Time. Um, get Dragon Pulse, Dragon Claw, Ancient Power, Twister. I know, if Dialga's gonna be here, uh, what are we gonna name this wonderful beast? Kronos. Yeah, alright, good. Alright, so now we're going this way. Right? Um. Where am I going? Oh, there's a cave entrance here. Oh, is this where Probo Pass is? Yes, it is. Vine boom intensifies. Uh, excuse me. Actually, you know what? Hold on. No, I didn't catch it. Oh, these are the red stones that we were talking about before. Like a really long time ago. I remember seeing these. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here. Uh, as if the world itself was created in this very place. <coughs> That's an oddly specific thing to say. Uh, what do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligu's moves, how his Gumi evolved. I think you better leave my uh, any extraction of uh, ex uh, extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? I'm going to have to ask you. Stop right there. Please don't be who I think it is. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? Huh. Uh, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure, uh, treasure after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. Uh, what we seek may be uh, as precious as treasure, but this is, uh, this isn't about how valuable it is. We needed to restore this awful sky to, n to normal. This whole climax of the game has taken really long. <laughs> there is so much buildup. Like, I thought we'd, like, straight up just fight Arceus right there, and then Dialga showed up, but now we're doing more, like, side plot for the main plot. Ugh. What earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care what, uh, why any of you write off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are th three of you and three of us. Let's go, Chandler. You take charm. Do I have DL up front? I like using the legendary Pokemon for plot purposes, and then we put it away forever. So, that was really the only time we'll get to see Dialga, Kronos in action, until we complete this Pokedex entry, otherwise. So, um, hey. Uh, how about we just Earth Power? Then Gagna. You still have the two same Pokemon. Ah, it's a hypnosis. 
that's a shadow ball. Uh, it would be really, really funny if you just murdered my god of time right now. Okay, well. Silly little Gengar has now murdered the god of time. These bandits are no joke. They don't give a fuck what kind of Pokemon you have. Well. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. I mean, uh, we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all those stupid rules. Look, uh, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're strong as ever, Chandler. Maybe you can really do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. Uh, but even if you do, next time we meet, you won't escape without... Uh, a beating. Remember that. Go away. Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? Oh well, heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin I remember that uh, never hesitated to help someone in need, even if sh uh, she uh, growls so uh, growls as she did so. I suspect. They uh, may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. They should uh, they should have just said so. What a pain there uh, they are, hiding behind all that attitude. I was able to <clears throat> I was able to extract some of that origin or whatever uh, it is you wish to call it. I suppose it better go with you, Chandler. Piece of origin ore. I got the redstone. Uh, an ore of mysterious power is spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of Almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleavor recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to, the, to Mr. Professor and show him what have you got. That Lavatin's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. You. So this stone of creation's being, the origin ore. Hmm, yes. One can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be that feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask uh, since you brought that up, uh, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back to Jubilee Village. Why? He's up there at the top of the mountain! Here are Professor Lavatin, what remains of the red chain, broken as, may, as it may be. That Oshawa does not have a care in the world. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it's, it's still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky to have the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Chandler. Uh, next comes the Stone of Creation's Being. Why am I giving it to her? Why can't I just give it to Lavatin? The f fragments of the red chain collected at the, at, uh, at great personal risk by the Pro Clan, then the Stone of Creation's being which we first learned thanks to the Diamond Clan, and now finally the Galaxy Team play the part of these certain events as a proper vessel. A okay, my girl, you're one of the team's greatest craftspeople because you did the honors. Uh, this is my true battlefield trailer, even if it is maybe safe indoors. This may take some time, perhaps the rest of us better wait on the side while we work.
Come on, Mr. Professor, I wish they'd hurried it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all, all your prattling about the value of time is a cover up for your own impatience. <laughs> like, I like the story, but it could hurry up a little bit. It could hurry up a little bit. Like, we don't need everyone saying all of these things. I think we should, like, put the things together and then go fucking fight God, because we need to go do that. <sighs> sitting back and waiting actually solve things. I'd sit forever because I'd uh, be using time well, unlike this. Yeah, this is a not good use of time. Watching me watch you do things. We've done it, Chandler. Yeah. I dump it the origin ball. Uh, if uh, the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sido. Oh, this is the Master Ball, isn't it? That's a Cherish Ball, actually. Never mind. That's actually cool looking. Origin Ball. A singular, uh, singular and imp uh, a replica ball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the top of Temple of Sinnoh. You're not going to let me catch it at a Pokeball? <laughs> These Pokeballs of yours are uh, full of wonders. To think uh, the fate of Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings uh, the two of you closer together. Well, hold on. That voice I hear in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialga's willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. This is certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fiercely powerful. Everything's ready now, Chandler. Take the Origin Ball go to the Temple of Sinnoh. <laughs> no, first we have to go watch a steel roll down a mountain again. And go fight that guy with his Lucario at the training grounds. And then also, like, watch grass grow, and paint dry, and do so many other important things than fight the final boss. Gogeta? I don't... I don't want to talk to you, I want to go fight God. And here you are, lost one, ready to face the fate atop Mount Coronet. Uh, it seems a vicious battle uh, might await you. Uh, I guess I'm going. Come now, child. I know you did not choose this burden, uh, but it must uh, it must weigh mightily on you. But you could bear it. You have your friends, your allies, and most importantly, your Pokemon. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be served from space, nor space from time. The being uh, you will encounter at the Temple of Sido is Palkia, ruler of all space. Uh, it is allowed to run wild, uh, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. You have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, uh, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Yes. I would like to do that. We're gonna go do that. I must say, it's, it's quite... Uh, the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go and see what the clother can offer. Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? Well, I hardly have time for shopping uh, if the world ends, will I, young man? <laughs> Fair point. Alright, Chandler. Once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh at once. <laughs> That's why I put Dialga on the team. Because I knew they'd, they'd force me to do it. I'm aware what type Palkia is. Oh my god, do we have more talking to do? The boy I've been waiting for. You know, you can buy various uh, sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful for you to, uh, if I set up here closer to the temple. Uh, I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see the world myth of legends probably be creepier than uh, closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Do you want me to close chat because you people are saying things? Uh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow. 
before I could possibly be in any danger. Yes. Chat is closed. I will cover the chat portion of OBS uh, with my alert box. I can now no longer see what any of you are saying. Uh, <laughs> someone donate when I can put chat back up. <laughs> that way I'll get a notification. Okay. That's the wrong button. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure our inventory... The ball. The ball's not there. Is it a key item? It's a key item. Okay. I see them at the top of the place. I don't know how the hell they're getting there before me, but they are. We save again. It's been another hour. 79 hours. For as long as I thought... <clears throat> for as long as I... Uh, for so long I thought that I'd uh, have had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilate Village. Or that melt banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple. I felt uh, my own path. But you show me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Hey Chandler, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? He wants to frickin' have alone time. I'm saying we've got the Diamond Clan. Uh, saying, it's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means, uh, you hope you'll both be safe. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We will support you in whatever we can, whatever way we can. I doubt you'll need it. Chandler, protect Asui and her dear people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Yes! I want to walk up there! Let me walk up there! Or cutscene me there, or do something! Palkia. That's not the ball that I'm supposed to be using. Oh, so that's how Spear Pillar got destroyed. Time. The fuck happened to you? <sighs> All right, then. Palkia is now a horse, a centaur, if you will. Oh, we're, we're doing this? Where the fuck did I get these bombs from? Alright. Ah, teleports behind you. Bro, this music. I can't go that way. Please. Honestly, now, this, now seeing this makes me wish I chose Irida. So that way we'd see Dialga like this. I don't know why the fuck Palkia looks like this. It's like a weird Palkia Arceus and he doesn't have arms anymore. Please. At least his patterns are like, actually like, not electrodes, bullshit patterns. Ow. Ow, never mind. I regret saying anything. I'm waiting for you to stop doing that. There we go. Mm. 
You're taking a lot less damage than normal right now. Bro, this freaking remix of Dialga and Palkia's theme is so good. Okay, we're fine. And then I just get murdered by a Draco Meteor. Break it. Break the ball. Break the ball. I dare you. Oh. Nice. Yay. Ah, oh, well, this is getting this is back to normal. There we go. Bright and sunny. Isn't this a remix of Twin Leaf Town? I can't see chat, so. <laughs> he caught it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it? Triple stinky. Alright, cool. I have chat back open again. Thank you for the one bit cheer. Uh, you could actually battle them, but the attack pattern is way too long. Huh. You hate how ugly the origin forms are? I mean, I don't know why he looks like that. <laughs> My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Oh yes, good show. What a catch. You can uh, contain that fearsome thing in the origin ball. Also, um, I don't know why the fight was so easy. <laughs> They're misformed Arceuses. Yeah, like that. I get that. But um, that's the final boss, right? Like Arceus doesn't show up and like murder me. I'm assuming Arceus is maybe post game or something. But um. Why was Electrode, like, five times harder than Palkia? <laughs> Origin form is the official name? Okay. Absolutely astounding as ever, Chandler. Thanks, Sinnoh. Formidable as usual, Chandler. <laughs> yes. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Ah, what gives, Commander? Uh, I'm not sure I deserve that sumo throw. Hmm. Well, at least it, uh, it seems this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. <laughs> Yalka looks like he swallowed a pencil. <laughs> we faced the, a calamity unlike any we have known. We were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for celebration, a festival for all of us. Gather your clans! This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen! Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we're both following a, a, a true almighty Sido of our own, I guess the times uh, we'd fight over the, who's wrong or right were ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. This may be the best path toward protecting the space uh, we all share. I'll If it's in post-game, I'll see it in post-game. I do have a Discord notification, though. It is from a different Discord, though, so I'm just going to go with that. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for those who live in the Hisui region. I think that's really fucking cool, though, how whatever origin form you fight explodes the whole temple, and that's what it looks like in Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. I mean, Platinum doesn't exist. Diamond and Pearl. I look up and smile at God. Pokemon Legends Arceus! So. 
I don't- what is this link you have sent me? Squidward chokes on a fork. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus. We can beat the dead Rapidash all we want. Yes, this game does not look as good as it could. Yes, it would have been better if this game released a year from now, but instead we will get uh, two full Pokemon games this year. But excluding that, I love this game. I really like the mechanics. It fleshes out more of the Pokemon battling. And... Fruit 209. Oh, you're hitting me in the in the feels right now. Route 209 is like the best fucking theme in the whole game. Um, I like being able to roam around the world. Uh, and catch all the Pokemon because I like that they are adapting the Pokemon Go esque mechanics into these games. Because they're actually good mechanics when you use them in the context of a game like this instead of in you know, the mobile game. Which I still love Pokemon Go. I play it all the time. Like, literally every day. So. This just seems like actual Diamond and Pearl music and not Legends Arceus music at this point. Uh, but. Shame they're murdering the mechanics in Gen 9. We don't know exactly for sure, but it did say on the website for Gen 9 that uh, it is going. you're going to have to battle Pokemon to catch them. So, I had, I've said before and I'll say it again, this is the most fun I have had in a Pokemon game in a very long time. Uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for Gen 4 because it's the first Pokemon game I grew up with. And I love Gen 5, obviously, uh, as you already know. But uh, yeah, 7 out of 10. Uh, I think I was talking with Gamma last night. And Gamma asked me, what would you rate this game? And I said 7 out of 10. So, um, like, no game is perfect. I think anything above, like, a 7.5 would be too high, and anything below, a se a, a, like, a 6.5 would be too low. So, it's not mediocre. Yeah, they did put a lot of effort into this game uh, with how everything works. Story-wise, I think the story is weird, I love this end credits theme, though. Um, but, uh... Like, you fall down into the world and Arceus sends you here. We haven't finished the full story because we still have post-story to do. Uh, we still have Turnback Cave. Turnback Cave would be obviously where Giratina would be. Um, because of the fact that it actually innovates and does some new things and does them fairly well. Pokemon Company is so lucky that this game is good. Because they developed this and Scarlet and Violet at the same time. And if this game- if this game's mechanics didn't go over well with the general public, Gen 9 would be a massive flop. So, I'm very, very glad that this game is as good as it is. But, uh, the story- oh, that's adorable. I've seen this image before, actually. On, like, Twitter or something, when I actually could use Twitter. But this is really cool. Um, <laughs> just by coming out this year, honestly, <laughs> your arc phone is beeping. All right, let me say things before I do the arc phone thing. Uh, but like you fall down and then you do the things and there's not really much other than trying to figure out why the Pokemon are frenzied, which honestly, we still don't even know why the Pokemon were frenzied in the first place. Um... I think it's really stupid that Kamado, like, every single time you talk to him, he's like, people can't trust you, you're from the sky, prove to them. But, like, I've literally helped out, like, 99% of the population of Jubilee Village, quelled five noble Pokemon, and gone everywhere, and have filled out, like, over half the Pokedex, and you're telling me I'm not trustworthy? Uh, what is this other video you've sent? This one's not loading. I have to click on it. It's a clip. Um, I'm not gonna click that clip. I don't know what that is. Uh, is a respectable franchise going downhill? A little bit. Um, I do know the quality of Pokemon games should be higher, uh, than what they are right now, but, like, for older games, 
with the sprite work, you were able to fill in a lot of gaps with your imagination, but now everything is in a, has been in a 3D world for a very long time now. It's been... Has it been almost a decade? Wasn't X and Y 2013? X and Y is like nine years old this year. Which is crazy to me to think. Uh, but now with all the new 3D stuff, they need to polish everything up a little bit more. Because the sprite work in Gen 5 was incredible. And then it, they kind of never really super followed up with that uh, since then. Uh, but yes, also the climax of this game is way too long. It does not have payoff. <laughs> because uh, that origin fight with Palkia is really cool looking. Uh, but genuinely, honestly, probably easier than Cleavor. Like, honestly. Um, I did get hit a couple times, but that's because I didn't see the shockwaves coming out because I was trying to throw bombs and stuff. But, like, attack patterns easier than, to dodge than Cleavor. So, I don't really know what was up with that fight. A clip of a picture of Pokemon on GBA and a hug B saying, This is a respectable franchise slowly creeping towards its downhill or downfall. Um... Long story short, this game is good, it can be better, but for what it is right now, it is a very, very good entry in the Pokemon franchise. I really enjoyed uh, Gen 8 for what it was, but it wasn't, like, the greatest thing it could have been. Uh, I really enjoyed Sun and Moon, and I, like, absolutely adore that game with the setting and the Pokemon you find and the whole story. And Gen 6 is super forgettable, and Gen 5 is fantastic. Going back down that far. And even t having this game tie into 4th gen with Diamond and Pearl. Um, I think this is a good prequel to those games. Except I really, really wish they just would, like, acknowledge Platinum's existence. And I don't know why they don't acknowledge Platinum's existence. So, maybe on Switch 2 we'll get Pokemon Renegade Platinum. But it's not a fan game. And it's, like, an actual game. The DLC for Sword and Shield was incredible. The, the DLC for Sword and Shield was the, was the best part of the whole game. And that's stupid because it's the, the $20 extra you have to pay for that. Uh, but I still did like Sword and Shield regardless. Uh, I mean, I put 300 hours into the game and I did so many raid battles. And the raid battles you can do forever. So, that is true. So, I think I've said what I have to say about, the, about this game plenty of times. Especially when we were talking about uh, Scarlet and Violet. So, your arc photo is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon.